So at South End Borough Council, we believe in a strong, valued and supported workforce. Um, and this comes through our belief in no barriers to um, an equal access to all of our opportunities, shared opportunities in the workforce. And in doing so, we encourage our staff to be involved in, in our staff forums. So we currently have three, which are the Disability and Carers Forum, BAME and also LGBT group and they're heavily involved in our consultation processes, events and activities at the council um, and they also attend our corporate equality steering group so they're really at the forefront of our equalities directives um, and, and helping us to make sure that there's no barriers faced for our workforce. So we have welcomed Equality Works Group to hold equality analysis training for our organisation, which has really helped us to gain a better understanding um, of what's required and also how to deliver equality analyses so that everyone's voice is included and that we're really kind of stepping up to the mark with equality analyses. Also, we use, um, I myself am going to be attending the Equality Works 25th Anniversary Networking Group in London on the 2nd of November um, and some partnership organisations in the borough are also going to attend with me which would be great. We're looking to kind of get um, a network of people locally as well as hopefully meet up with different equality people from all over the country potentially um, at the event. And I'm also looking, or I'm also attending the ILM Level 4 Managing Equality and Diversity training in November. Um, and we're really just utilising any kind of resources that are available and looking to maintain that partnership working and kind of improve our practices through the knowledge and experience of the EW group. We aim to improve our workforce diversity by looking at our recruitment and retention strategy. So that will be focusing on applications where we post our jobs and we'll be working with our recruitment partner to ensure that we are looking at a wide range of sources and inclusion. So from advertisement, social media campaigns, targeted media campaigns to ensuring that our workforce is fully inclusive, our advert wordings are inclusive, our interview processes ensure that there's no unconscious bias, there, there's a whole array of elements that we're looking at to make sure that our, our workforce and our entire process is fully inclusive um, and leads to yeah, a more diverse workforce. We're signing up to the Inclusive Culture Pledge as we believe it's a really useful way for us to benchmark our current processes, standards, practices and ensure that these are modern, they use the most recent technology, resources, practices and help drive our equality objectives and our corporate plan forward as an organisation but also to our service users to make sure that our communities are taken on the journey with us as a council and as an organisation, our workforce are there at the heart of it.